So what year is this car? 2021. Porsche Targa. 911 Targa 4S. Four wheel drive. It's a rainy day here at Gilmore Car Museum, but we made it out. This is Oktoberfest. This, of course, is Don, the owner of the car. We'll jump in it real quick so I don't get it wet. So this, guys, is my first experience in a Porsche. Porsche. Yeah, Porsche. If this is your first experience, this is a great way to start. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Tell me about the car. Well, I can tell you, well, see, now the interior is super nice and clean. The, uh, this was when you uh, put money down for a Porsche, for these Porsches, uh, you just don't buy them off the crappy floor. And so Miyoko, my wife, was able to uh, custom request the, the color of the interior, the wood inlay, the chrome, the stitching in the seat. Every little detail wow. is custom. So uh, I get a lot of compliments and there's no credit of my own. It was all of my wife. She's very uh, fashionable. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, this is a beautiful car. It took me a while to understand Porsche. I never used to look at them very much because I couldn't afford them. Yeah. But uh, the more I saw them and saw the build quality and the attention to detail. Yeah. And, you know, it's there's no doubt about it. They're expensive. However... It, the price over time, they end up becoming collector's items. Yeah, absolutely. And there's the, you know, look at all the older 911s and, you know, uh, just the Porsches in general. And there's that, always there's a fan following and the electric cars may be the future, but these will never go away. Absolutely. Yeah, I love them. All right. First thing is first. Yeah, put your foot on the brake. Okay. And then the ignition's on the left side. It's a turn knob. Okay. You turn it all the way and it'll start. All the way. There we go. We'll let the defrost take our, our breath off real quick. Take a little cruise? Yeah, let's take a little cruise. So yeah, you have to put it in drive and take the parking brake off. So. What, what's the motor like in this? Well, you're about to find out. It is in, <laughs> it is very smooth and it is very, very fast. Turbo, you don't really feel the turbo lag and the turbo kick on. It's just, you'll see a little indicator on the dash. The dash is incredible. Yeah, this is a work of art. Yeah. Absolutely. I love how wide the tires are. I love it when you're driving because you really get the sensation of uh, cornering. You can feel the G-force. And if you're on the toggle switch on the right side of the steering wheel mm -hmm. there's a g-force indicator oh wow so if you're with your thumb if you roll through that mm -hmm. and you'll you'll get a heat roll right there oh yeah so there's a g-force and then as you're cornering you'll see that red dot move oh yeah and it's kind of maybe not <laughs> not so much fun in the uh in the wet yeah yeah um i'm a bit cautious when i'm driving other people's well, that's that's a good thing yeah. you want to get invited back <laughs> absolutely Go anywhere you want to go, man. You got a full tank of gas. Right. And there's there's three settings. There's a, a wet setting, normal, and sport setting. Okay. The uh, on the rear, there's a uh, whale tail uh, that it, you can bring it up. It comes up automatically at 75 mile an hour. Oh wow! Yeah. Or you can bring it up manually. There's a manual button on if you continue to toggle through. Okay dash there's all kinds of little features that is neat so she's got 4900 miles on it not even broken in no no it's not an everyday driver it's a special occasion driver you can get on it
probably not able to have much of a conversation. Yeah. Um, but it's not too bad. Probably all the money they put into design and aerodynamics. They probably yeah. thought about that. Yeah, the, um, the mechanical, how everything you know opens and folds in and closes, it is a uh, the engineering minds behind that were, they oh, were yeah. drinking espresso that day. the magic of Porsche. Yeah, I really love the uh, the quality. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's you, uh, everything is made by you know mm -hmm. purposeful, targeted. You you see the uh, the passion with uh, there's no rattles, no shakes, no nothing loose. Everything is just tight. Yeah, I've seen videos on YouTube where they're showing the factory of the 911 factory. Yeah. And it's just unbelievable. The well, attention to detail. Yeah, and, and I think you, you get that when you're not mass, you're not so focused on mass production. You know, there is the, the pride in craftsmanship where um, everybody that has a job to do does their job to the best of their ability. So kind of like our earlier yeah. conversation about, you know, in the military we have a phrase of being an inch wide and a mile deep. Mm -hmm. And um, I think mean, those guys that do the, the assembly and engineering of these cars are, everybody has a specialty, either suspension, Absolutely. motor, interior, acoustics. And they take great, great pride in it as well. Yeah. So it's fun to be the recipient of mm -hmm. all those people that have such great pride in their craft. This is the back way on Yankee Spring. This is a quite a nice little road. We do some motorcycle touring back here. But eventually, you'll be on the back side of Gun Lake Casino. Oh, really? What's this road look like from here? Is it like unpredictable? Oh, no, it's pretty good. Okay. But there's some really nice corners coming up, and I'll, I'll give you a little oh. bit of pre warning. Yeah. But uh, there's some really uh, good. Photography spots. Oh yeah, were, uh, gorgeous. You had the the, uh, the camera eye. Topher and M-Tech, uh, they took me on the car and driver roads uh, near Hell, Michigan, and that was a blast.
thank you for taking the time out of your day to do this with me. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It means a lot. Yeah. It's a dream car for me as well. So it's just a dream that I get a I get a chance to go wash and wax and take care of. Which I enjoy. Oh, absolutely. Understand why you bought this car? Now. Yeah, this is an amazing ride. You know, you know, nicer weather, the tops down. It's it's sweet. And to me, it's you know, it's it's almost emotional. Yeah. You know, when you're when you're in it, you enjoy the. And here's this little village that they mentioned. So up here, there's a gas station and a couple places to make a U-turn and make a head back. But you, know, you said you know the. Uh, the pride and craftsmanship, and you really get a chance to appreciate everything. And um, it's uh, it's special. Yeah, it really is. Especially since your wife designed the interior and yeah, the color. Everything was uh, hand hand selected. I get a lot of compliments on it, and uh, it's of no uh, no credit of my own. I was I was just the yes dear yes dear <laughs> guy. Right, you mind if I do a little zero to sixty? Yeah, let's see what you got. Action. All right. I'll do it with just the automatic then. All right. I saw the traction control. The traction control yeah. Yeah. And this is in a normal setting. There's a sport mode setting that lowers the suspension and tightens everything up. Um, but I, I don't oh, know yeah, the sport it. mode in, in rain. <laughs> it's my first time. i got to take it easy. Yeah. So there's a, a wet setting and a normal and then sport mode. And yeah, uh, the awesome. sport mode, it does decrease the suspension, I think, like a half inch. Mm -hmm. um, and tightens up the... the it, you hear a little different octave with the exhaust. Oh wow! And um, it's, you know, it just goes. It, it, it really does. It can be a very aggressive car. <laughs> or I would, and that's what's nice. It's really kind of a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Um, it can be super aggressive and you know, rip your rip your throat out. Or it can just be elegant. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I mean, elegant. Uh, just you know, take it to. Um, Ludington and the, you know, the lighthouses and stuff and park it out there and grab a nice coffee and watch the sunset on Lake Michigan and very you know it's a very pr pretty and elegant car or it could be you know uh, a monster on the track yeah a monster you know pinion in the back of the seat and yeah. slap you around a little bit <laughs> that's what I like I just like driving on the back roads and enjoying myself you know, it's like therapeutic yep yep and I I Enjoy that tremendously. So I always look for those uh, twisty, turny roads. A lot of fun. And to me, the I like the rhythm of the turns. You know, it's. I, I guess I enjoy the turns more than I do the straights. Mm -hmm. You probably have a lot of experience with like weight distribution. Yeah, it, it's fun to watch. You know, you see that distribution on the uh, that dial there on your right. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's fun. You can feel the suspension load. Mm -hmm. You know, as you're going into the corner and. Yeah, it's very smooth. That transmission.
transmission's amazing. So, another zero to 60, 90? <laughs> Put it in manual, yeah. and we're gonna see how this works. Right, there you go. Car museum. Still a lot of people here. Yeah, this place it's always draws. Four. It always draws a good crowd. There's just so much to see, and the, and what you see changes. They're constantly rotating the inventory. They had horses here earlier. I did see a few uh, remnants of uh, horses leaving. Oh yeah. And what breed of horses were they? Like, I have no the idea. I just, saw, type? I just saw the horse poop on the road. Oh, did you? <laughs> Since if you had a chance to drive a, <laughs> yeah, these are actually my newer ones. These are actually for driving. There you go. Fantastic. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for You're that. You're welcome. That's really nice of you. You're welcome. Oh wow, that's even a nice sound. Not bad, right? You can turn it off. Just twist it to the left. Yep. 